Good morning, Coronado. Today is Monday, May 6th. I'm Caleb. And I'm Ben. And this is your Channel 6 News. Today in the cafeteria, we have takeout pepperoni or vegetarian pizza, popcorn chicken, or spicy chicken sandwiches with lettuce and tomatoes. Ramen is being sold in the quad during both lunches. Also during lunch, get your tickets for tomorrow's yearbook signing party. Tickets are $2 and are required for entry into the event on Tuesday. At the event, you can pick up your yearbook and enjoy food with your friends. It'll be during second period for upperclassmen and third period for underclassmen. The ticket is a wristband. Show your wristband to your teacher before going to the party. Lost wristbands will not be replaced, so take care of it. If you don't go to the party, you have to wait until the next day to pick up your yearbook. Get your ticket at lunch today and or before school tomorrow. Our softball team closed out the regular season in last week at home with an empathic win over Secta. The 10-run rule went into effect in the sixth inning, sending their opponents home without any runs scored. A big part of that win was our lone senior, Kendall Solitsky, who struck out 11 batters over six innings and went in three for four at the plate with three RBI. She will attend in West Texas A and M um, on a scholarship. Good luck, Kendall. AP exams begin this week. So far, er, so for the remainder of the school year, we will only hear bells to begin end in the first period. Please be courteous as you pass by in rooms with testing signs on their doors. Students have worked hard all year for this moment, and they deserve to have the environment they need to succeed. Now over to Ben for sports. Baseball has won six of their last seven and easily beat Chaparral on Friday, 27-0. Nearly everyone contributed with hits and RBIs to close out the home games for the season. They begin their playoff run tomorrow, today, at home against Liberty at 4 p.m. Come out and support. Nearly every spring sport program has made the playoffs, either individually or as a team. In addition to baseball, softball, and golf, diving is also beginning playoffs today. Tomorrow, it's round two for baseball, softball, and golf. Swimmers will begin postseason competition as well. Men's volleyball will take on Sierra Vista at home at 6 p.m. This is the time to come out and show support to our athletes. Now for clubs and activities. If you'd like to become more involved in a school activity and meet great people, consider joining Color Guard. Here's more information. Congrats. Hello, we are the current Coronado Color Guard captains and we're here to answer some questions you might have about Color Guard. What is Color Guard? Color Guard is a performing art that includes dancing and tossing equipment such as flags and rifles. Activities Color Guard participates in is band camp, football games, a California competition, a performances at lunches, a winter parade, marching band season is a few months long, and so is winter guard season. A benefit for joining Color Guard is that you get a PE2 waiver. How do I join? At Coronado, Color Guard is taken as a six period class called Rhythmic Precision. If you'd like to join, see or email Mr. Matthews um, in order to get enrolled into the class. Not sure if you're interested? If you aren't completely sure if you'd like to join or not, come and try it out with no commitment required at our mini Color Guard camp June 4th through June 6th. It is located at Coronado High School starting in the band room. Well, okay. Congratulations to junior Larry Trigg, who tied for first place among all CCSD students in the Smash Bros Ultimate Tournament at the Level Up Expo. Larry took himself a cash prize and also a cash prize for Coronado's Video Game Club. Great job, Larry. Attention Wishing Crane Club members, the banquet is today after school. See you there. And that's all for today, Coronado. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at chs underscore channel six and have a manic Monday. See you tomorrow. Bye.